Today I'm going to be doing an explanation and a walkthrough of our brand new Performance V4 utility. For those of you who don't know me, I am Talantro. I work with Paragon Tweaks. We do performance optimizations, stream setup services, overclocking, and even networking services for esports professionals. Literally anything technical that you need if you're an esports player, come straight to us. Uh, we're going to be able to help you out with anything you need. Special requests are welcome, and then our general services as well. Where you're going to want to start is ParagonTweaks.net. This is where all of our information is housed. This is the Paragon Tweaks, information about our services, information about us as individuals, the companies we're trusted by, some of our vouchers here that you can see, and then what's important to this video is our resources tab. And this is going to house more eventually, but currently we have the Performance V4 listed, which is our brand new utility, and that is a precursor to our Paragon Tweaking utility, which is going to be our full-fledged utility that will come out as a paid utility eventually. You're just going to want to hit download here and find the directory in which you just downloaded that. Now, when you open this, you're going to want to run this as administrator. If you don't run it as administrator, it will not have the permissions necessary to apply these tweaks, which improve performance. And you're just going to see a bunch of accesses denied errors when running them. And you don't have to worry about the security of this application. You're welcome to do virus tests on it yourself. But we have submitted this to Microsoft and they have verified through their processes that this contains no malware and is trusted by their antivirus, which is why you won't see a virus warning when launching this application. So when you first launch it, you're going to see all of us, the Performance V4 logo. And what you're going to want to start with is by hitting this launch button. This is going to scan your system, uh, connect to the Paragon servers, upload all the information we need to actually set up the tweaks for your system and get everything ready for your computer individually. And where it's going to start you off at is this system preparation tab. So where you're going to want to start is creating a system restore point. A system restore point is important because after doing these tweaks, if there are any issues with your computer, you know, sometimes there's instability because of previous tweaks that are ran on the computer or a general instability on your system, which we try to solve through this software, the system restore point you're going to be able to go back to and undo any of the changes made from this restore point and on. So this is going to save you in case anything happens. And nothing should happen, obviously, but this is just a quick safety check, a safety net, if you will. So go ahead and hit start on the restore point. You'll be able to see most of these tasks in real time and see their percentage. And so you can see the restore points done on that. And then the next step is going to be the window safety checks. When you hit start on this, this is going to do all types of corruption checks. It's first going to start with checking your disk for corruption, your hard drive, and then it's going to run some system file corruption checks. That's what SFC stands for. So that just ensures that there's no corruption and no missing files on your system. After the SFC is completed, it's going to do an online file check, which is just going to ensure that your Windows files line up with Microsoft's Windows files to ensure that even if SFC wasn't able to find any corruption, that the online check will. And then after that, there will be another system file corruption check just to ensure that nothing went wrong in the first three checks and that if there was any corruption that is fixed, there's none that's left over or hanging and that everything is tied together and your system's ready to go for tweaks. So just go ahead and let that complete. All right, I know that that's done. We can move on to the stability and compatibility install. This step is going to install C++ redistributables. C++ redistributables are used by practically all the applications you're going to use on your computer, as well as all the games that you're going to be playing. Usually when you install software, it will install the redistributables that it needs to run, but sometimes it will fail to do so. And if that happens, sometimes games won't launch or it will use, you know, poor or old C++ redistributables, which can affect performance. And so just to be safe, you're going to want to run this and it's going to install all the redistributables. Now, sometimes there are going to be pop-ups, a little OK pop-up or, you know, a close these applications and reopen them later pop-ups, something like this. You're just going to want to hit OK on all of these and just let it run its course. None of them are warnings. And if there is a warning or anything like that, don't worry about it. There is a ton of redistributables being installed. And so as long as they don't all error, you're perfectly fine and you can expect process went as expected. Now, just as a warning, both of these steps can take a little bit of time. The Windows safety check specifically can take, you know, 15 to 20 minutes sometimes at the upper end. Don't worry about it. If it seems like it's stuck, it's probably not. And you can just let it go. But if it spends over 20, 25 minutes, feel free to close the application and reopen it again. Sometimes the application gets a little stuck. And if you reopen it and retry the step, it might do better. And if it continues to get stuck, restart your computer. And for steps like these, other than the system restore, you can safely skip the step without worrying about it. All right. And once that's done, we can head over to the tweak section. So in the tweak section, these are going to be all of the performance affecting changes in the software. And so we're going to start with the custom power plan. The custom power plan is going to be probably one of the most beneficial settings in this lineup. This is going to reduce the efficiency settings in your system, allowing your game to pull the most performance that it can. And so you're just going to want to go ahead and turn that on and you'll be able to see the changes as they happen. And this is going to, again, be one of the more performance affecting changes. And the next is going to be the frame rate optimization. This is going to be tailored for your FPS specifically. So when you're in game and you see your FPS counter, you may be playing at, you know, 
know, 700 FPS. This won't necessarily change that 700 number, but it is going to affect your 0.1% lows and your 1% lows. 0.1% and 1% lows are what your game is going to feel like. That means that 0.1% of the time, you're going to hit maybe 130 or 200 FPS. And that number is going to significantly affect how smooth your game feels and even latency because of how inconsistent the frame rate is. And so the goal is to improve that 1% and 0.1% figure so that even if your FPS doesn't look different, it may feel drastically better. So go ahead and turn that on. Some of these will throw out an error every couple of commands. Don't worry about those. A lot of these commands are differing per PC and they're meant to fit all computers. So sometimes there'll be an error. Don't worry about it. The only time that you need to worry about it is if there is only errors. If it only says access is denied, that likely means that you didn't run it as administrator. And so you're just going to want to close it and make sure to run the application as administrator. Next is going to be latency reduction. So the latency reduction, let's say that you click your mouse button to fire your gun in game. Latency is how much time it takes for you to click your mouse button for that signal to reach your game. So there is time between your mouse and your receiver. So your receiver has to know that you click the mouse button, your mouse has to send that. And then once it has received that, it has to send that signal to your computer. And then once your computer has received that, it has to send that signal to your game. And each of those little microsecond differences add up. And so if your latency is poor, then that can mean that each action takes slightly longer than somebody else's. And so your timing is going to be poor and that is going to affect your feeling of gameplay one person versus the other. So when you see somebody that can free build really fast, uh, the likelihood is that they have low latency and you can just turn that toggle on and it should improve your latency significantly. And the next is going to tie into the latency reduction, which is going to be the process count offload. The process count offload will reduce the number of processes running on your system. So if you need to check that number, you can open up your task manager, go to your performance tab and go to the CPU section. You'll see the number of processes right here. So mine's at 155 and this won't happen immediately. Once you run the process count offload, you'll have to restart your computer for it to actually take effect. But the reason that this helps in performance is because the total number of processes is taking up time for your computer to work through. So if one process is running, then your CPU, your processor has to process that activity, that task, and each task has to happen one by one. Now your CPU can do a lot of tasks at once, but it does reach its limit. And so the more tasks, the more latency you're going to have. And so reducing this number of processes is going to also improve your latency. And that's why it ties together with your latency reduction. Uh, this is a pretty important one. And then lastly is going to be the GPU performance profile. This is going to automatically detect whether or not you have an AMD or an NVIDIA GPU and apply performance settings based on that GPU. So you can turn that on and it's going to do settings specifically for your graphics card. Once the tweaking section is done, you can head over to the system cleanup tab. The system cleanup tab is going to have ghost device sanitization, disk cleanup, and transient files removal. The ghost device sanitization removes anything that you have plugged in in the past. Let's say if you've plugged in a mouse and then you replace that mouse with a new mouse, your computer remembers that you have that previous mouse plugged in. And so eventually you end up with a bunch of devices that are just ghost devices because they're not currently plugged in, but your computer still remembers them, which can cause all types of latency problems. It can cause driver problems and you just don't want that. So you're going to want to hit start on the ghost device sanitization. Now I've already ran this. So it says remove zero devices, but yours is going to have a number usually between 100 and 300 devices that are removed. Um, and then once that's done, you can head over to the disk cleanup. Now a warning, the disk cleanup can take a long time. You're going to want to run this and you're going to see some windows pop up. And this is going to clean up files that applications have left over in the past, as well as like windows files that aren't necessary from windows updates and things like that. Uh, this is just cleaning up a bunch of storage. This won't delete any personal files. It's not going to delete any of your downloads, any of your documents, any of your games. This is only going to delete stuff that you don't need. You don't need to worry about it deleting any files that you do need. Now, sometimes this one does get stuck. And so if that happens, if all of these windows, you'll see this window, if they're all closed and you don't see one running, but you don't see that the application has responded. So it still says that it's cleaning up applications, but none of those windows are open. You can go ahead and close the performance of V4 software and relaunch it. Sometimes it gets a little stuck and gets mixed signals from the system on whether or not the task has been completed. So you can just go ahead and close it, reopen it and start back in the system cleanup tab. And so the next step is going to be the transient files removal. This is going to remove temporary files left over by applications that you've ran in the past. So you're just going to want to hit start on this. It should be pretty quick. You'll see it deleting all types of files there. Don't worry again, this is not going to delete any of your personal files, downloads, documents, anything like that. That's only going to delete files you don't need that have been left over from previous applications. And then once that's done, you're going to be set. You're going to be ready to play. The next steps is going to, you know, talk about how we have more services on our website. We have all types of services, like I mentioned earlier, for tweaking services, things like this, but way more in depth and tailored to your system specifically. So go ahead and visit paragontweaks.net and see all of those services that we have posted.
posted. And then if you need any support, if you have any questions about this tool, about anything PCs in general, you need support on an issue that you've never been able to figure out, game errors, or just something you can't figure out too easily from research, you need to join our Paragon's Trap House. This is going to house PC help channel, some extra files that's going to help you. It has literally anything you'll ever need. If you need anything tech related, you need to talk to somebody about some issue that you have, your game doesn't launch, something's wrong with performance v4, that's the place you go. There's all types of information on there and it will be beneficial for anybody who joins. I'd honestly recommend that you join this immediately, but you know, you can join only if you have issues or whatever you want to do. Um, but we have the website and the trap house server. Both of those are resources for you. And besides that, you're set and ready to play. So go ahead and play. And if you notice a massive performance improvement, we would appreciate it if you join that server and leave a vouch in our vouches channel just to let other people know, you know, that it actually had a benefit and also to let us know what did and didn't work. Thanks for watching.